G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Today I'm out again with good mate Artie Reinster back there. We're uh, we're right up at Redcliffe today. A little Clontarf, just gonna fish a few of the rock walls there. We've got the Horny Brook Highway in the back. Nice glassy day out on the bay. Just gonna chase Brim. You know, maybe a bit of flathead up on the flats once this tide starts running out. But just gonna start off with the Brim prawn. Got the gob crabs and. We've got a few bigger baits, vibration baits and prawn baits if we happen to see any threadies or anything cruising any of these walls. But yeah, just going to go out for a fish and see where the day takes us. So yeah, here we go. Oh, a bit of bait out here. Oh, they're brim eating prawns. I should have a surface little Oh, should I ever have a surface little one? Right. Eat that man, eat that. Yep. Hold on. Yeah, Brimbo. Oh, pulled the hook on him. I reckon there's some bait there. Oh, I got a white prawn, so you would think. They're going to eat something. Got any mates following him? It's a start up. Bloody bait here. He's got a rifle in on it. Can get his bigger model. There we go. He's a carving little brimbo. He's only a tiny guy. Oh, and he's off. Oh shit. They're getting rattled. Off the rod tip, <laughs> just straight over the side. Man, there is so much bait here. Yep. Hey, he's a bit better, yeah. That was like dead set through the lure over the side. Yeah, yeah. It didn't let anything out. <laughs> he's a nice fish. Yeah. There you go, second one for the morning, a little bit better. Classic. Didn't even know I uh, was fishing through the lure over the side and yeah, hooked himself. <laughs> yep. Oh, took a bit of drag, that one. I think he ripped the bait off. Yep, ripped the bait off, Art. The ever reliable brim prawn. Why not? Is it better? Doesn't even know. I think it's a cloudy or a cod. Yep, codly. So what you get fishing a bloody crab pat nut. <laughs> little crab eating estuary cod. Little gold spot. Love the crabs. Yep. Oh, how yeah, did you not get a hook in him? Oh, whacked again. Yep, and again, what are you doing? And again, there we go. Got him that time, mate. <laughs> Took about seven goes at it. It's another little guy. Now I'll get a big one, that bait's getting chewed up. <laughs> so you can't really see it, but this whole area here, you might be able to pick up some of the current lines. It's just a heap of a shallow rubbly patch. And incoming tides pushing over it. As you can see, there's bait everywhere. And the brim aren't far behind. Got him. Better one? I don't think so. Oh, I had him. Codly. Oh, and again, missed him. 
Cod love those crabbies. Oh, good at that. Better one? Oh, uh, no. I'm gonna say. What Man, again? Three in a row. <laughs> three in a row. <laughs> And I'm just getting rim rattles, tearing baits off. There we go. Oh, I reckon he pulled the bait off again. No, maybe not. How are you not getting the bait in your mouth, mate? Like, what are you doing? Another cod, mate. Really? Yep. Get out of there. Yeah, nice little cod. You want to net him? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Is that four in a row? Yep. He's going for the record. It's about four of these in ten minutes. It's the new world record. <laughs> it's fun though. <laughs> yep. Yes. A little bit better. Still a little guy. Stop splashing, carrying on. Oh, nice donger. Where's that net? Oh, let him chew you off, Art. Flatty. I don't intend to hold him there you go, donger on the brim prawn. Show everyone how you do your thumb in the bum, Artie. Go back along this little bit of rubble and then start doing poles, eh? Yeah, we'll work back in and then... Yeah. Start putting some crabs down. Man, that sun is fucking ridiculous. There we go. Oh, what? Must be a cod's got it and just swum into the rock. You got bricked, man. Can you even fish? Oh, he's out. He's come out. Yes. That's the Horny Brook special. Look at that. Gorgeous fish. Oh, eat it, you dog. Oh. Yep. Right. Rimbo. Little guy. Moses. Oh, it's a bloody Moses. And the Grand Slam, that's the Horny Brook Grand Slam. Brim, cod, and a Mosey. Oh, it's going to be a good day. A few more moseys will be bloody sitting pretty. Oh! Damn it. Right, is there? There he is. Oh, he's just a little guy still. They just go hard. Yeah, they do, eh? Oh, How many have been hooked in the side of the face? Like, that's a lot. Getting keen to start throwing some crabs at poles here soon. Oh shit! <laughs> my hand off the rod. <laughs> Looking ahead. Stay out hooked again, I reckon. He's all right. The brimbo. They love that bloody brim prawn. That was just do nothing. Just pick that up. How cool is that yellow on his fins? It's awesome. What do you got, mate? Good cod? Arty, that was the one. That was the big cod. I don't know what that was, Good weight. What do you got? Oh, you got some eyeball. There's a brim looking at it. Yeah, I do have an eyeball. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah, that's the outer layer of his eye. Oh. That poor bastard. I didn't know that. I didn't mean to. Man, we're meant to be bloody stewards of the oceans. 
Oh, you look after the fish. What are you doing? Oh, brim chasing it. Oh, you got an alley knot. Yeah, I do. Oh, wow. that was um, Trevally or something bigger, eh? Definitely something bigger. Come on, chase that down, you bastard. That had to be a trev, eh? Yeah, had to be a good sized trev. Yeah. Or a thread. A couple foot long, that thing. Yeah. Come on, hook that thing, man. That's true. That'd be sick. Oh, no. God. <laughs> Come on, where's that trevally going? All right, pretty sure we saw a decent trevally, maybe thready, something big mouth carving through the bait. So it's gonna throw this Jimmy prawn on a quarter ounce head. It's my heavier setup. Burn it around, see if I can't uh, get a bite out of something bigger. Kidding me, aren't ya? Now yeah, throw the little bait, I'll just get smoked. Here we go. Probably foul hooked again, mate. Yeah, I reckon. He's carving. Oh, I'd say Brimbo, he just fouled. Yeah. Just, just plain and... Oh, he's taking drag, man. I Hollywooded it up. Yeah, in the side of the face again. How yeah, good does it look? Just carving through clear water. Scatter and bait. Boat flip him, yeah. He's all right. A little bit better than the average we've been getting. Can't complain, we'd have 20 brim in the boat by now. Heap of cod, fun little session. Do I go straight to a crab or what? S factor on the crab, here we go. Now we'll get a big one. Big cod. Been a while since I've had the crab rod out, Art. Here we go, crabbing. See if I can remember how to do this. Yep. Oh shit. Straight up on the crab, buddy. First cast. On the crab. First cast. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. First fish on the cranker. It's been a while. It's just like riding a bike, this brim fishing. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit better, eh? Hey. Here we go. What? Yeah, man. Better fish? Uh, Should be on the crab, alright. Uh, he's just alright. Yeah, fish a pole will do all right, Art. Fish a pole will do all right. Here we go, crab eater. The horny brook, mate. She's always good to bend a rod here. What you got here, mate? Oh, a powerful brim again, on the back. You're getting good at that. How do you put a hook in in there? I don't know. He's, <laughs> he's like a live bait. Oh, he's, just, he's swimming there like a live bait. Is he bridled? He's not even hooked. No, he's not you hooked. You bridle rigged him. Yeah, he's not even hooked. Look at that. He's lassoed him. I know, I'll spin him around so you see the hook's not even hooked in. That him. hook isn't even in him. <laughs> he's just looped around and bridle rigged. Let him go. I reckon I might get a brim here on the crab, eh? Hey? 
crab goes in get to the bottom wait for a bite yep oh he had it yep yep little guy fish a pole man fish a pole All the crankers. Oh, if you're into numbers, man, not a bad place to fish. Uh, Especially if you want to hone your technique. Yeah. Especially if you like fishing in shade. And all these poor suckers on the daily grind. I don't know, but I'm guessing we might get a brim off these poles. He had it. Oh, how did I miss that? Classic dunk, and I just wound in and he wasn't there. Oh my god, how did I do that? I had no idea I fouled that up like that. Here's a tip too whenever you tie your lure hard to a ring, make sure you tie it around the two pieces of wire. Don't tie it in the gap. You tie it in the gap, it can get worked through the ring. Tie it hard to the two pieces, and you'll be right. Must be a fan. Must be. <laughs> Yep. Crab eaters. I'm surprised you haven't picked up your crab rod yet, Artie. <laughs> Normally you're the first onto it. There go, a little crab eater. Only a little fish, but. Good fun. So many brim, Marty. We'll get a good one here soon, surely. Oh, you'll get smoked for sure, man. You always lose a crab or two. Yep. Oh, man, that was a classic dunk. Yep. Oh, and again. He's back. Oh, he missed it. Oh man, yeah, got him that time. Hey, he's a bit better. Six fluoro, spinning fluoro. Yeah, got him. They're yeah, getting bigger. It's going to be a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, I think that's the biggest of the day so far. Yo, best fish of the session so far. A little crab eater. It's on the crab rod. Six pound spinning fluoro the whole way through. Awesome fish. There's like a fish at pole here. It's great fun. Yeah. I hate to say, but I might be giving you a touch up so far this morning, aren't I? Oh, I don't know about that either. I reckon I do know about that. It's because I was hogging all the good poles. Yeah, man. Oh, he had it. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's got mates too. Oh, yeah, go around there, buddy. He's up, mate. He's up. <laughs>
Oh, it's good fun. Good clean fun, Artie. Oh, they're just everywhere, Artie. This crab fishing's easy, man. Got him. Yeah, got him. That's a Breams. Whoa, brim off. What have you lost your touch, Artie? Have you landed one on a crab yet? Artie. You were the crab and guru man. You told me everything I know about crabbing. Oh, dude. Yep. <laughs> he's, uh, he's just a little guy carving, man. Oh, he's on the board, Artie. You got one. Finally, double hook up. A little bit of wind getting up now. Unsoft the brim's bite, no? Oh, Hardy! Oh man, eat it, buddy. Oh, look at the mates with him. Yeah, there's three or so of now then. It's just too easy, uh, shooting fish in a barrel, mate. Sort of is. Well, it is for me anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, man, you should be getting a fish every pole, man. They're smashing you. Every cast you're getting hit. They're all giants on those front poles. That's why you can't get them. Too smart. Be cool to hook something big soon. Got him there, Art. Big one. Oh, eat it. Oh, I just went hard. Oh, fooled him. Crab machine, get your mojo back. Right. Got to be a couple of good birdies around. I know those big spawners aren't going to be here, but. <laughs> this guy going to be a bit better? Well, he's carving. Carving out, it's going under the boat. No, he's just a little guy in the back of the head. Hardy on again. They're just smashing the crabs, eh? Yes! Oh! Pulled him. <laughs> I'm filming. <laughs> Another flipping two in a row taking drag and bloody. Oh. Both of those last two poles, man. 
first couple that it is easily taken drag. Oh, you cunning bloody brim bastards. Shit, we'd have to be on bloody 30 plus 50, easy. Man, All right, let's see if I can do it again. Yep. Oh, get off of there. Bigger is he just carving hard? Let's just show it off with the bloody rod. Uh, he's still that average sort of size. Oh, don't do that. That's how you pop your crab. Yeah, he's a fatty. There you go, a little fatty that guy. Took a bit of drag, went back to the pole. Just crunching that crab. He's got a good gut on him, man. It's a nice little fish. Like I said, only tiny fish, but man, we're getting numbers. It's good fun. Maybe. Uh, he's fouled up, I think. He just rolled. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> that was that was a keg of heart. I saw it, man. 44, dude. Oh, oh, oh. How does that little thing go so? How does he go so hard? Oh, if that other one was 40, this guy's got to be. He's a 36, this one. Ew. Another subscriber. A few fans crossing the Horny Brook today. See me under the Horny Brook, make sure you wave, beep your horn, shout out random shit. <laughs> We're definitely onto a bit better size though. more fish sort of holding up and the big guys are first on it coming up to the new moon too it's always not a bad phase there he is putting that time there's another good brimbo just smashing that crab god we're getting some numbers here right good numbers So many brim, Artie. That's the thumbnail right there. So many in brim. Oh, I know what the thumbnail could be too, Artie. I schooled Artie. Artie got crabbed out. What about Art? Did you even catch a brim? <laughs> Buddy. Oh my lord. Oh, missed him. You got him that time. That's a giant. You got him, Art. You got him. Come on, double hook up. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he's a good one, Artie. Finally. I'll get the net. You to fight him. Back him off. Yes, yeah, sorry. You had to go and one up me, didn't you? Yeah, he's a good one. He's a good one. 
He's a solid one. He's the best of the session. I'll give you that. Had a model. They're pretty consistent. Liam's giving me a bit of a touch up. That's probably the best one we've had this morning. Fat fish. They go hard. It's great fun. Yes. That's fish of the session. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, you dog. 32 overall. 32 overall. 34. Car. That's what we wanted. Right, we're about halfway through the session and she is going off. So, fish a cast pretty much. Fish it on every pole, smashing the crabs. It's just, uh, it's just one of those sessions. They're not huge. Oh, he's got a couple, oh, we've got that one good one. We've got a couple good size. But, yeah, it's just, it's just fun. I've said it before, it's just fun. Dude, it's sick fishing. In the shade. Oh, he's got mates. There he goes. You can't beat this. Shady, fish biting. Oh, it's just brim central, mate. Man, smacking the brim. All right, the crab technique. I've got a long rod, seven foot eight, and it's a PE 0.4 to 0.8. Super light, really soft tip, super fast. Running six pound spinning fluoro to the heavy cranker crab in an olive. Caking it up in S factor, and it's as easy as this. Cast it in. Keep tied to it, let it sink. Oh shit. Oh, I think I got whacked as I was falling. Yeah, I did. It's like that, watch your line. Watch for the brim to bite, wind into them. It's getting a bit sloppy out here. So it's that long rod absorbs the lunges. They're real tiny hooks in these crank crabs. Super sharp, but they, are, they can arc out pretty easy. Soft rod, full fluoro, just absorbs all those lunges, all those head shakes. That's it, brim on crank of crabs. It's easy. Oh, I missed him. Oh, no. Whoa, shit. He was just charging out, man. Bloody hell. Dude, that was crazy. He's not bad. <laughs> he charged out, man. <sighs> he's not huge like yours, but he's all right. There we go, another good fish. Oh, yeah, he's coming at me. Ready? Yep. Could be. Could be a better one. Just charged out. No, uh, he's alright, he's still. Yeah, alright, there's another decent sort of size one. A typical summer fish, this place, you know, winter time, you get that spawn runner brim, you know, you'll get some really good fish around here, but yeah, that's just a nice average summer fish. Little crab eater, good fun on the light stuff. Heat more flow in here, the channel. Yeah. Like you said. Yep. Oh, damn it. Just free floating today with that current. Get the right drift past that pole. And yeah, going from two odd meters to three odd meters. Four, four odd meters. Good one, huh? Little guy. <laughs> no! Let him go too far down. Gone. 
All right, let's go chase Flathead. <laughs> what do you reckon, Flathead? Oh, we gotta give him a quick try from up there now. Here we go.